and joining us right now for his first appearance uh, you know after these results is the strong man of nagaland three time chief minister and chief of the ndpp which is an alliance with the bjp mr nephew rio mr rio good afternoon this is arnab goswami here on republic uh, can you hear me mr rio yeah good afternoon sir it's a great I pleasure to have you, you. and uh, and so first lee your overall you. take on the results in nagaland well uh, our partner bgp is doing well but my part party ndpp is not uh, doing up to my expectation mm. but i hope uh, together we will work out to form the government but as of now the numbers that we have the npf is got 27 seats and uh, they are the single largest party and if i add the three seats of the jdu with them then they cross the halfway mark uh, mm. so is it it most likely that they will form the government uh, i think uh, the final result tally has not been uh ready so only after some hours it can uh, be affirmed no mr rio uh here's here's one thing which somebody spoke about yeah is it possible the jdu could come with you jdu yes. bjp ndpp is it possible oh yes yeah they are nda partners and yeah. i think uh, we can work together Yeah. Our doors are open, and they are in touch with us also. They are in touch with you. Yes, yes. So that would make it, uh, you know, about you would get to about twenty-eight seats. Uh, so it's going to be a fractured assembly. But uh, who would get the first shot at forming the government? The alliance or the party? The largest alliance or the largest party? I think the Lord, uh, the Alliance Party. Mm -hmm. We are pre-pool alliance. Mm -hmm. But won't the NPF complain? So we should be. No, no, there is no reason. They also had club up some uh, party after the assembly, I mean uh, election. Yeah. And during the election they had uh, spoken so many thing against bjp uh huh but you know i i've been looking at this uh, mr rio you feel it for the bjp will the yes. bjp be loyal to you let me put it very bluntly you've been loyal to the bjp <laughs> but will the bjp be loyal to you yes i am Yeah, why why I should not trust them? I trust them. It's politics. Well, whatever the case, we have to trust one another and work. But, uh, any other parties, any independents could come with you if you have to form a alternative government. Uh, what kind of a formation? If you can give me some sense of who all could come with you, I, uh, you know. No, no. The final re result and tally has not come, so I am not in a position to give you the firm figure. NPP. I think it will take some time. NPP. I mean, uh, they are all uh, in touch. So let us see how it will work out, because they are. All, these are all NDA lines. Yeah. Can you? Can you? Mr Yo you know I have I I must say this I've been reading up a lot about you over the last few days yes. and I've followed a bit of your career uh -huh. I have tremendous admiration for okay. both your experience your stamina and your political instinct I believe that you know you are a master political player you're a strategist you're also a survivor and hence please don't mind my next question to you Mr Yo Is it possible that you could form a government without the BJP? No, tell me. No, we are partners, and we have seat sharing. We contested only 40 seats, 
So how can I say that uh, I can form government without uh, BGP? We have to do it BGP. Uh, so I, so you see, Mr. Spiro, I want to be straight about it. BJP has a pre-poll alliance with you, but now that the leads are out, they may go with the NPF. Could the, do you think the BJP could leave you in the lurch? Well, l let us, let us uh, see what happens. No, but do you, do you know, you were previously elected chief minister from the NPF in 2013 before you went to Delhi on a Lok Sabha seat. Now that you've returned and your former party is doing better without you, do you have any regrets? No, not, not at all. Not at all. I have no regrets. Do you regret forming the NDPP? Whatever comes, we have to respect, we have to respect uh, the mandate of the people. No, absolutely, absolutely. But you're still saying you have a shot at it. You have a shot at government formation. Who did you speak to last in the BJP? Did any of the BJP leaders contact well, you in the last uh, couple of the, hours? You spoke to any BJP leaders last, central BJP leaders? Did I'm in speak? touch with them. Who do you speak to? I'm in touch with them. Who, who are you mostly in touch with? Uh, I, I had spoken uh, just some time back to Ramadab. What do you say? And uh, we are con taking up consultations about the figures. What did he say to you? He said he'll stay with you? We cannot have the last say now because the result had not uh, come out clearly. We'll try and get Wasbir Hussain also from, uh, no from Northeast Life because you know, Northeast Life Channel is partnering with us and I'm sure we'd like to get him on. He'd like to throw a few questions at you. But, but Subrashta is with me here and she also has a question. Subrashta, go on. Uh, understand from you as a as somebody young and from North India who is trying to work in the Northeast and understand the politics what makes you so anti-Congress to give a larger no, overview to you know the I had the fought with Congress I had uh, fought with Congress uh, since 2003 until today uh, we have been having alliance with BGP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Mr. Rio, I think we are going to look at the numbers here right now. If you're not getting Wasbir in, I'm going to say thank you to you. But if you're getting Wasbir in, then I'll hold on for just a bit. But, you know, this is, this is a very, it's a very interesting situation, Mr. Rio. We are just even Stevens placed out here. We don't know which way we are going to do. Now, Mr. Rio, I must also tell you one thing, having said mm -hmm. all this. You, you have formed a government. You have form, you, you formed a party in January. And you've got 16 seats in March, which by itself is quite an incredible achievement. So congratulations for you on that. Because, be, be, because I, I don't know how many people can do that. Now, Mr. Rio, my next question to you is on the Catholic card, the Christian card, yes, which was played here. Do you think it worked for or against the Congress yes. party? Congress party is down to only one seat. Where did that Christian card work? How did it go? The involvement of the church, their appeals. Well, uh, they have reason to make an appeal. This is a secular country and uh, there's freedom of religion. So we are explaining the position. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, you know, I think, I think I'm joined by Wasbir Hussain. Let's see if we can get him live on the program. But, but in any case, before, before we get Wasbi, we were live on, mm -hmm. on, on, on Northeast Live, but I want to thank you, Mr. Rio. I'm going to close it short because we've got to go back to the other stories that are happening nationally. But, but I congratulate you on your performance yeah, and yeah. we are going to be watching very carefully on what happens in, uh, in Nagaland now. Thank you, Mr. Rio. Thank you very much. I'd like to toss over to our other, to our other anchors and then just quickly give our viewers a sense of what's happening on the ground. We saw some really big celebrations. I think Shivani is there. Some really big celebrations at the BJP headquarters. Over to you, Shav Shivani, to take it forward. To take it forward with the rest of the news through the day. And I will be back in the evening with the big stories and the overall analysis. Shivani. Absolutely.
Thanks a lot, Arna. We were, of course, bringing our viewers visuals from the BJP headquarters in Delhi, where Amit Shah, the party president, arrived a short while ago. We're also expecting the prime minister to arrive shortly, and they will be addressing uh, their workers and the media at large before a parliamentary board meeting. But what